Whoa, slow, slow. This zoom was way too fast. Let's let's try this again. Well, this is much better this way. And uh, this is the cross section of a pine leaf. And I'm simply going to show you now the different parts. Hi, Micro Punter here. This here is a permanent slide, uh, a commercially prepared permanent slide of a pine leaf. It's a cross section of a pine leaf. And I just want to show it to you um, under the microscope. Now, if you're interested in this uh, slide box, uh, then there is a link uh, below in the description. It's a commercially prepared slide, so everything's also been stained properly. So this is uh, the cross section of the pine leaf. Uh, lucky that uh, at the lowest magnification, we can see the full specimen here. But I saw that the center um, had a little gap there. And I think that this could indeed be an artifact that the specimen is a little bit damaged. And it doesn't matter so much it looks nice in any case uh, they are it is the vascular bundle here we have a close-up here and this is where substances are transported to and away from the leaf here a slightly bigger one the water is transported of course to the leaf and the sugar is transported down to the roots here here on the right side this is the epidermis the outermost cell layer which also protects uh, the pine leaf uh, from too much of water loss we can see that the cells have a variety of different sizes and shapes and this here is the endodermis which uh, surrounds the central part uh, of the leaf and uh, in the endodermis uh, we also it also protects from water loss and uh, there are of course also a whole bunch of other cells uh, that do photosynthesis here in any case the pine leaf uh, here this is how it looks like uh, when it's not under the microscope um, and uh, we now continue right away here looking for some other interesting features here um, this is they're using the 20 times um, objective and uh, again here the endodermis uh, is quite well visible and uh, you can see that uh, the company that made them they used uh, the various stains and for this reason the different parts of the pine leaf have different colors and uh, again there are is the epidermis here and what we see here is, is a so-called stoma these are small openings in, in the epidermis uh, which allow for gases to go into the leaf and also to go out of the leaf and the stoma can also open and close um, and this way they control a little bit uh, the water loss here we have a nice close-up here when it's closed of course all the less water can be lost uh, over the leaf yeah that's the stoma again here in any case uh, I'm now using the 40 times objective and you can see that the cells are quite well visible um, at this uh, magnification here and again those uh, air gaps here yes leaves do have air spaces but I'm not so sure whether this one here is not also an artifact and uh, here this one again a large magnification of the end an endodermis cell and i think that these structures in there could be starch storage grains i'm not quite sure about that um, but i think that this could indeed be the case yeah and uh, moving around again a little bit uh, again another endodermis cell right in the middle here yeah and i think uh, yeah i think uh, that is a very nice uh, specimen and here again a nice overview over the whole specimen well, that's it again. I want to invite you to please have a look uh, down uh, in the description section because I've got plenty of uh, links to a variety of resources. Um, and I just want to tell you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye.